when it comes to deciding whether to eat, the people are governed by two separate yet equally powerful motivators. Their hunger which keeps them alive, and their boredom which keeps them overweight. These are their stories. Mr. McMahon, quite the evening you've had. Why don't you tell me about it? Look, I don't even know why I'm here, all right? I didn't do anything that bad. Those guys were doing way worse. It says here you hit up two different in and outs is that correct? I didn't hit up anything, all right? It wasn't a robbery. Yes, fine, I went to a couple of locations tonight. And what were you doing there? Look, I was just blowing off some steam. By throwing chicken salad at the patrons? Yes, by throwing chicken salad at the patrons. Why? Why? I'll tell you why, all right? I've been on a diet for two weeks, two, and my patience is razor thin. And these asshats, right, instead of doing the right thing, instead of doing the cautious thing, they don't get drive through, they don't get carry out, they don't just stay home and eat food in their house. No, they stop and eat outside at one of four tables in a heavily trafficked area without masks, eating garbage. All right, if you're gonna risk your life for food, at least get something good. Go to Five Guys, go to The Habit. Hell, hit up a Burger King. Don't you ever disparage the good name of In-N-Out in my presence again. They make fresh, quality food with fresh, quality ingredients and that secret menu is to die for. Presumably not literally. They should be grateful I scared them off. Tell me about this chicken salad. What's in it? Why does it matter? Can I just pay my fine and go home already? Mr. McMahon, some of the patrons that you hit with the chicken salad had very adverse reactions and were sent to the hospital. So no, you may not just pay a fine and leave. Holy shit. Did someone have an allergic reaction? Are they okay? What is in the salad? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, four cups of cute chicken. Uh, it doesn't matter how you make it, uh, I just put a couple breasts into an instant pot with a cup and a half of chicken broth for eight minutes on high. Uh, and then, you know, let it cool and chopped it up. Uh, spices. Uh, a teaspoon of whole cumin seed, a teaspoon of whole coriander seed. Uh, you put that in uh, a dry skillet over medium heat until it's uh, fragrant. Uh, and then you put that into a uh, spice grinder. Why not just use pre-ground spices? It seems unnecessary. So does wearing sunglasses indoors, and that hasn't stopped you. Excuse me? Whoa! Chill out, Columbo. I do it because it tastes better, all right? Fresh spices taste better. Right. The next step, you're going to take a tablespoon of olive oil, you're going to put it in that same skillet, medium heat, you're going to put three tablespoons of minced ginger, two tablespoons of minced jalapeno, you're going to cook that for three or four minutes until it's soft, and you're going to take it off heat and let it cool. Then you'll need the zest of two lemons, Three tablespoons of lemon juice. You're going to combine that, the spices, the jalapeno ginger mixture, a half a teaspoon of salt into two-thirds of a cup of Greek yogurt. Technically, it's supposed to be mayo, but I was trying to be healthier, so yeah. All right, so uh, the second to last step is you're going to take uh, your cilantro and your green onions uh, and chop them up. Uh, but cilantro tastes like soap to me, so I just went bananas with like the green onion. I chopped up like a whole bundle, so like two cups of green onion. Uh, but, you know, if cilantro is your thing, you can totally do that. I do a, a cup of cilantro and a cup of uh, green onions. And then you take that, you mix that into the sauce with your chopped chicken, and voila, uh, chicken salad with Indian spices. And that's it. There's nothing else you added? Nope, nothing else. No, shit, ow! Oh, shit, there's a third of a cup of chopped cashews. That's what it was, right? It was, a, it was, ah, shit, it was a nut allergy. So there weren't any narcotics in the salad. What? No. No, why would you even? No, look, look. If someone had an allergic reaction to something I put in the chicken salad, that is 100% on me, okay? In the future, I will ask if someone has allergies before throwing food in their face. But there is a difference between that and trying to say that I spiked this food with drugs. Quote, I have spiked this food with drugs. Screamed repeatedly by you, as reported by multiple witnesses. I was just trying to scare them off. That's all, it's just words, it doesn't prove anything. What's that? That would be the bag of scopolamine, aka devil's breath, that we found in your car when we arrested you. It's just a bag of chopped up licorice. 
I assure you, Mr. McMahon, our forensics lab is more than capable of differentiating between a piece of candy that can be found in a local grocery store and actual scopolamine, a drug derived from the flower of the Borachero shrub, commonly found in the South American country of Colombia. That was oddly specific. Okay, fine, it's scopolamine. All right, anybody could have put that in my car. It doesn't prove it's mine. Joe is a very popular name. That could be any number of Joes. This was affixed to the outside of the bag. Congratulations, detective. You cracked the case. Guess you were just too smart for me. Before you take me in though, detective, could you take another look at that sticky pad for me? You sly son of a bitch. I take that means I'm free to go, detective? Fine. You're free to go this time, McMahon. But I got your number now. You'll be back soon enough. I highly doubt that. But I look forward to our next meeting, detective. Ciao.